We're live again. Trying again. Don't get too relaxed because it's supposed to be your channel. So you don't say social media dot ca. Okay, I think he said don't forget to leave a don't like. Don't forget to leave a like and go to the first video channel to get over to FoshBjoy.ca. All right, welcome back. I'm Pastor Doug. This is Rowan. Tonight we are reading from Joshua chapter 10. Welcome to a moment of joy. As so always, we encourage you to read along with us. Joshua is towards the front of the Bible. It is the sixth book of the Bible. And it is in between Deuteronomy and Judges, and we are reading chapter 10 tonight. Now, Adonai Zadik, king of Jerusalem, heard that Joshua had taken Ai and totally destroyed it, doing to Ai and its king as he had done to Jericho and its king, and that the people of Gibeon had made a treaty of peace with Israel and had become their allies. He and his people were very much alarmed at this, because Gibeon was an important city, like one of the royal cities. It was larger than Ai, and all its men were good fighters. So Adonai, Adonai Zadik, king of Jerusalem, appealed to Hoham, king of Hebron, Piram, king of Jeremoth, Japhthai, king of Lachish, Deber, king of Egalon. Come up and help me attack Gibeon, he said, because it has made peace with Joshua and the Israelites. Then the five kings of the Amorites, the kings of Jerusalem, Hebron, Jarmuth, Lachish, and Eglon, joined forces. They moved up with all their troops and took up positions against Gibeon and attacked it. The Gibeonites sent word to Joshua at their camp in Gilgal. Do not abandon your servants. Come up to us quickly and save us. Help us because all the Amorite kings from the hill country have joined forces against us. So Joshua marched up from Gilgal with his entire army, including all the best fighting men. The Lord said to Joshua, Do not be afraid of them. I have given them into your hands. Not one of them will be able to withstand you. After an all-night march from Gilgal, Joshua took them by surprise. The Lord threw them into confusion before Israel. So Joshua and the Israelites defeated them completely at Gibeon. Israel pursued them along the road, going up to Beth Horon and cut them down all the way to Azekah and Mekdah. As they fled from Israel on the road down to Beth Horon to Azekah, the Lord hurled large hailstones down on them, and more of them died from the hailstones than were killed by the swords of the Israelites. On that day, the Lord gave the Amorites over to Israel. Joshua said to the Lord in the presence of Israel, Sun, stand still over Gibeon, a new moon over the valley of Ajalon. So the sun still stood still, and the moon stopped, till the nation avenged itself on its enemies. As it is written in the book of Jasher, the sun stopped in the middle of the sky and, delight, and delayed going down about about a full day. There has never been a day like it before or since, a day when the Lord listened to a human being. Surely the Lord was fighting for Israel. Then Joshua returned with all Israel to camp at Gilgal. No. You know what? No questions? Yeah, no questions. Isn't that, the, isn't that a, a pretty exciting thing, though? Yeah. Like... I don't know. That, that's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, how about the part with the hailstones, where more people died from hailstones than than from swords in a battle? Like I've been out in the hail before, but I've never heard of anybody dying. dying. Yeah, like that's that's awesome. I mean, that's the power of God. They must have been big. Been big. Yep. All right. Now let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you for all you give us. We thank you for your word. We thank you that when when we obey you, we see your power in mighty ways, and we pray that we recognize you at work. We love and praise you, Lord Jesus. This we pray in Lord Jesus Christ's name. Amen. All right. We will see you tomorrow evening at 830 for another moment of joy. 
Bye-bye.